guys welcome back to double trouble channel and today i would like to discuss a very interesting topic and unfortunately in my opinion it's very sad i would like to talk about the heavy price that fame has for those who have entered adulthood as star that process can be especially difficult the struggles of teenage stars have long been a topic of public discussion from britney spears to justin bieber Today, I would like to talk more about One Direction and K-pop because we all know what has happened to one of the members of One Direction just last week. I don't want to go into details about it because, in my opinion, we all need to let him rest in peace. So, one of the best-selling boy bands of all time, One Direction, the members were of the age from 16 to 18 when they became worldwide famous. This is extremely young, in my opinion. And I think that mentally very few people can be ready to this kind of attention and fame and obsession from fans all over the world. Consider teen idols One Direction were often subject to fan hysteria. They embarked on four world tours two of which were all stadium. As of 2020, the band has sold a total of 70 million records worldwide, making them one of the best-selling boy bands of all time. The band have won nearly 200 awards. I can only imagine how difficult it can be for a grown-up to do something like that, but for kids who are, in my opinion, you're still a kid when you're 16 or 17, I think that's insane to be under that amount of pressure from everyone, including yourself. I was very, very shocked when I watched yesterday a documentary about K-pop. So K-pop industry has found itself at the center of multiple controversies that reflect the different social expectations in modern Korea. Idols are often subject to very restrictive contracts, sometimes called slave contracts. Their statements must not be controversial or cause any scandal. Their diets, behavior, and love lives are tightly controlled, yet their performance are often sexualized. I was shocked to find out yesterday that K-pop stars are not allowed to date anyone because they date their fans, and if fans find out that they're actually dating someone, they can be even cancelled because they get very angry with their own idols. I didn't know this, and I found it very strange, to be honest. I can only imagine how difficult it is for someone that famous to have to hide so much of your life. They are undergoing cosmetic surgeries, adding the pressure to appear perfect and flawless. This is another thing. So basically they have university and like schools for teens, kids who want to be world famous K-pop stars. They study and work hard hours and hours every single day and also their teachers at this university in Seoul tell them how much weight they need to lose. They basically weight them every single day. I think that's awful. To be honest, I'm very surprised how their parents are okay with this. The suicides of multiple idols have shaken the industry over the years. I'm not surprised here. Uh, so my question is, what are your thoughts on children who choose to pursue fame and cannot live their normal lives as adults? Is fame worth it? Because thousands and thousands of teenagers work super hard in order to become famous and only dozens maybe become famous. Even if they become famous, most of them can't bear the price of that fame. A lot of celebrities are drug addicts, alcoholics, they have mental health issues and so on. So do you think it's worth it? Because hundreds of thousands of, of kids dream and pursue fame. Very few of them achieve fame. Hundreds of thousands of kids who don't achieve fame are heartbroken. So is it worth doing this? 
Personally, I think the dream is to have the wealth of a famous person and not be famous, to enjoy your privacy. But what do you think? Is it worth it? 